Well, for decades, Democrats have looked to South Florida to see how well they're doing, and Republicans would look to North Florida. The 2018 elections told Democrats they could win Northeast Florida. Some are now calling Duval a swing county. So how will it impact the 2020 elections? UNF's Michael Bender tells On Your Side's Ken Amaro it's a swing county, not a bellwether. Historically, Democrats have really just ignored the Northeast area of Florida. Early voting has been exceptionally high in Northeast Florida. UNF's Dr. Michael Binder tells us why. This is a referendum election on Trump. Binder, a pollster and political science professor, says Duval County, while not a bellwether on how Florida will vote, has become an important swing county. Some Democrats have started paying more attention. We saw Kamala Harris at UNF the other day. Obviously, Trump has been here. It's, it's an area that's getting a lot more focus. Binder says the demographics have changed since 2016. We're a different city and, and we're, we're changing and we're growing in, in very different ways. In 2016, Mr. Trump won the surrounding counties easily, but in Duval, it was a close margin, 49 to 47 and a half percent. Binder says the heavy early voting could be a sign of what to expect this election cycle. If these early returns come in and Trump is winning Duval, uh, I, I don't think Biden stands a chance uh, across the rest of the state. But if Biden's winning, depending upon by how much, I think that could give us a peek into what the rest of the state's doing. If in Duval, 60 percent of registered voters have already voted. In 2018, Andrew Gillum in his bid to be governor shows Democrats can do well in Duval County. Binder says how Duval goes will be measured by the NPA vote those who are registered as independent. You know, in 2016, they went toward Trump. Do they do that again in 2020? Ken Amaro, First Coast News, on your side. Ken, thank you.